Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made a rustic style stuffed snowman. I purchased the pattern on Etsy. The name of the shop is Chestnut Junction and the pattern name is Sheldon Snowman, but you could easily just make a snowman shaped pattern of your own. Okay, the reason that I did not cut out my pattern on the line that I drew is because this is going to be my sewing line. So I'm going to stitch along this ink mark, the bottom I'm going to leave open, and then I will trim it close to my sewing line, flip it inside out, and stuff it. Again, I'm going to sew on the marked line. The hat, I'll leave the bottom open. The hat brim, I'm going to sew all the way around it. And then I'll make a cut in the center to flip it out. I'm going to leave like about three inches open on the bottom to turn it. I apologize if this video seems too long for just one project, but I was trying to show you as much as I could in real time so you can see it's not as difficult as you would think. After I sewed all the pieces, I trimmed along the outside of the stitch line. Now with all these pen marks, um, because I used a friction pen, they will just disappear with a hot iron. I'm going to clip some of these corners. So it's not as bulky when you flip it out, but um, make sure you don't cut into your sewn line. I'm just using a chopstick. <laughs> then you can just stick that in there and For the curved edges, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some slits on the curved area, 
But once again, make sure you don't get into your stitch line. You just want to make a few relief cuts so that when you turn it out, it'll be nicer. It'll lay nicer. It won't be all puckered. And you just want to do that on any of the curved edges. And then I'm just going to click the corners a little bit. Once again, your handy dandy chopstick. You got yourself a snowman body. Oh, I see, I forgot to clip the inside corner. See how puckered that is? I've got to flip this back around. Okay, you see how it's such a tight turn? Now it should be a better result.
see how it wants to turn a little better. You got a little bit more room. Okay, now for the hat, I'm going to cut through both layers. I'm going to have to make little... Cuts pretty much all the way around. Again, be careful you don't cut through your stitches. This one's going to get folded from the inside out. It would help if my fingers worked. You have a hat brim. Now we're just going to take our polyfill and stuff them really tight. Once you get him stuffed full, I like to fill mine or uh, stuff it pretty firmly. Um, just get yourself a needle and thread and then just sew the bottom, your opening closed. Not the prettiest bit of sewing, but you know what? It'll work. I took a pencil and I just made a small dot where I want his eyes to be. Okay, I have a needle and I have three strands of black embroidery floss on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through the top of his head and the dot is going to be the center of my eye. So then I'm going to... His eyes are supposed to be like a snowflake. So I'm going to come... Can't hang on to it. I'm going to come out next to it. And I'm going to pull the th thread so that it kind of gets into the stuffing. Don't pull it so it comes all the way out, but let it get caught in the stuffing. And then I'm going to come down. I'm gonna make an X and then I'm gonna make a plus. So I'm gonna do the first on the X to go into the, down to the bottom but then I'm going to make my needle come up where I want it to start next. And then I'll take it across, and because I need to do a plus next, 
I'm going to come up in between and then go down. come up where I need to come next and then for the last one I need to come all the way over to where my next eye is going to start and then the same thing you're going to come up where you need the next one to start They don't have to be perfect, you know, it's... And then since this is the last one going across, I'm going to come back up where I started. And then he's got some eyes. I'm just going to kind of make a loop so that my strings kind of caught in there because he's going to have a hat on anyways and it's going to cover all that then you just cut him off and there's his eyes if you didn't want to stitch his eyes on you could just paint a black dot on or glue on some small buttons to give him an aged look I've got some instant coffee, water, a little bit of vanilla, and a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle, and I'm just going to spritz them on that. Gives him an aged look, but he really smells good too afterwards. I forgot to mention that I used some blush that I got from Dollar Tree for his cheeks. You can also use light pink paint for this. Now I'm going to use some black paint to paint his hat and brim and set it aside to dry. Next I'm going to stuff the candy cane and sew the bottom closed. Then I'm going to paint the entire thing white and let it dry. Once the white paint was dry, I used red paint to paint on the candy cane stripe. For his nose, I used a small stick and painted it orange. I then used antiquing wax on the painted candy cane to grunge it up a bit. For his nose, I'm just using a piece of a stick that I've painted orange. I'm going to poke a little hole right where I want his nose, drop in a little dollop of glue, nose. For his hat, I stuck it into the slit on the brim. 
Now the directions say to sew it, but I'm gonna just glue it on the underside. I then glued a piece of wire into the hat. <clears throat> Give it a little hot glue in there to help the wire stay in place. This way you can um, bend your hat and it'll keep its shape. Should have trimmed this down a little bit first. Let me get that out of the way. Trim those off first if you're gluing. If you're sewing, you can just sew them right down. Next, I used hot glue and glued the hat to his head. Now he's got himself a little hat. The directions also call for you to make the same stitches for his buttons, but I've decided I wanted to use rusty bells instead. So I'm just gonna stick those on wherever I Just got him some rusty bell buttons. You can embellish these however you want, you know. You don't have to follow directions, to a point. Because the rest of my stuff is a little grungy, I'm going to Scarf, I'm just gonna rip a piece of fabric.
just wrap it around a couple times. I'm going to give them a couple dollops of glue. Keep it in place. Got a rusty snowflake, got some rusty bells. I'm going to give them a bell right there. Tag. Do I want a bow? Now he needs to glue his candy cane on. that up a minute. Because it also gets tied on. <laughs>
little dollop of glue so it doesn't come untied. too big. He needs a little something around his hat. <laughs> Oh, we didn't get tight on the back. It's done. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project, and I'll see you in the next video.